Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Kahala, Yahweh, Bashim, and Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Bashim, Harak, Hakodesh, Brakatai, Yahweh, Brakatai, Yahweh, Shai, Brakatam. To the Akim, Mother, keeping us for truth and all sincerity. Teaching the downfall of Esau, these two thirds in this wicked kingdom. Um, I just had a little bit of a revelation. Like, I've been going through stuff. And, you know. It's like the things that I've been getting to listen to, I've been listening to for the last couple of weeks. Um, one of the, well, it's, right now I was, list, I was listening to uh, one of the uh, from GMS. I think it's Slagger, and then I have another. Uh, well, he was talking about um, how you know. Judgments on the rise, and he was showing how all these two thirds are getting judgments, kids and everybody, and I mean cousins getting killed an hour away from each other, and how that's judgment, you know. And then he, uh, uh, I, I was listening to GMS, Amith one four four, it's a Tempe camp, and I listened to one. I downloaded this. Uh, verse when he's talking about separation is you know it's good you know because John the Revelator was separate and if you think about it everybody's always separate and uh, you know like Moses separate you know people call him crazy you know such and such because you know people call him people crazy how is I was separate you know I always I'm not comparing myself to how is I or nobody but you know I'm always separate I'm always by myself and you know me and my brother we uh one day we was talking and I was telling him I was like, Man, you know, I'm supposed to be over here, you know, doing my thing. And I mean, even the way well, doing my thing, you know, I tell him I was like, you know, it's kinda like Moses, you know. You know, Moses was in the desert, you know, and he was like my brother was like, Well, which part? What part of the desert are you in already? <laughs> I told him, you know, I was like I think I'm at the part before, before the, uh, before he comes back and answers Pharaoh and, you know, to get the people free. I said, I'm, I'm think I'm around there. <laughs> and this was a while back. Like, I want to say like at least, let's say at least four months ago, five months ago, probably longer than that. And, uh. You know, like, even the way, you know, I, I quit my job, like, I just went one day, and that was, that was it. I just told him, it was like, you know, I ain't supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be doing something else, you know. I'm on a, I'm on a mission. The Most High gave me a mission to do, and I'm supposed to be doing that, you know. And you think, you know, sometimes just because you think you're on a mission for the Most High, you ain't going to slip up and fall. Man, you going to fall, slip up, trip. See stuff, get robbed, jack, be, you know, start putting curses on people, and <laughs> you gonna go through it. And you know, it was like right now, I just realized something, like, cause the last uh, few weeks, you know, I've been. It's like what you know, the most I had me told me to do, I haven't been able to do. But you know, one of the 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 act from GMS Amos one four four, he said, sometimes the Most High is keeping you for protection, and I always tell people or to protect you. You know, and I always tell people, I'm like, you know, don't be mad when you can't you you make a left instead of go straight when you're driving, because if you didn't make that straight, you know, you never know what would have happened with your life. You know, the Most High could have how it could have just been trying to protect you. He sent an angel to protect you. And, you know, well, we don't know nothing. We just, we all on missions. You know, we all got different lots. But it's all in it's truth. It's putting your life out there for, you know, your your body on the line, you know, as a living sacrifice, you know. I would get jobs, you know, the most high would just send me somewhere. And it'd be like, I see somebody and they start asking me questions. I tell them about the most high. You know, about how I tell them that they're Israelite next thing you know. I already know as soon as I tell them, like, oh, I'm about to get fired. That was all he sent me here for. It was just that. 
you know, and if you stay, you know, so, you know, he'll have you go do something and tell you to move on. And if you stay, you know, the most high going to put some stuff on you to get your ass moving. So, you know, I, I usually know when something happens, it's time for me to move on. But like lately, it's like, man, everybody keeps trying to party with me and all kinds of stuff. And I just see myself. I'm like, why am I going through all this? What's what's going on? What's up? You know, you know, it's like I'm trying to be separate, but everybody keeps trying to pull me out. Like I'm in a false reality type thing. And it's like the more they try to pull. It's like. You know, it says be smart as a dove. Why or why is the serpent smart or soft as a dove? So you know, I try to not fit in, not to be like friendship or you know anything like that because I don't want enmity with the Most High. But you know, like I don't. How could I say? It? I don't try to be rude about stuff. You know, like you know, people they'll try to get in your feelings about stuff. They'll be like, oh, you hung out with them, but you won't hang out with me, or you did this. But there's always a reason why you do something. You know, uh, sometimes the most high will be like, go, go here, because this guy's going to give you this, you know. Or you don't know, you know, he'll just be like, go there. You you know, everything you do, even when you do bad stuff, is for a reason. You know what I mean? Even when you think you fell in, it's because you have to do that. It's for a reason. The most high is omnipotent. He's omnipotent. You know what I mean? Everything is for a reason. It's for for you. Either he's trying to build you up or he didn't want you somewhere else or whatever. So even when you think you fell in, the most high knew that you was going to do that. He put you there for that reason. It's not just to be like, oh, I put him there to see if he was going to pass or fail. He already knew you was going to fail. He already knew you was going to pass. He may need you to grow from that, you know? He may need you to open your eyes from that. You know, so. It was like, you know, I've been telling people for the longest. When people cry because the I had something in this video that kind of clicked in my mind. You know, I get tired of when people crying at these funerals. And they be like, oh, the person was too young to go. It wasn't their time. And I like, if they died, it was their time. You know what I mean? And then the Ark said on this video, he was like. You know, all sin is going to be counted up and counted against you. The Most High Yahweh was sending out them death letters, them death angels. He say, hey, go get them. You know, some people just will not turn back from from sin. You know, they won't try, you know. I understand if some of you, I, I get it. Some of you like, man, I'm trying to get off this last bag of weed, you know, or whatever it is that you're doing. And you're like, I promise you're making these deals. You got to remember, we can't just keep making deals and breaking it, though. You can't do that. You got to be stand up. You know, it's kind of like that. Uh, I can't remember what scripture it is, but the gentleman, the Ak was like, he went to war and he was like, how if you give me the power to destroy my enemies, I'll sacrifice the first person to come out the tent. And his daughter came out the tent and his daughter was a virgin. You know, he let her go up to the mountain to do whatever she did, but she came back and she let him sacrifice him. You know, you got to keep your promises. And sometimes, you know, we break promises and stuff like that, but that ain't good. You know, it's like, if, what if you, how about Shimmy Ashai broke a promise with us? I mean, he know that we, we, we ain't in our pure bodies. Uh, uh, like he know that we ain't in our pure bodies. You know, we trying to get the law. We're trying to live as righteous and best as we can. But, you know, you got to try. You know, these two-thirds, they ain't going to try at all. You know. But with that said, I just want to say, Shalom. Yahweh, Shalom, 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 Yahweh, Shal